Well, if I were to thank Mark, I'd probably give him a big hug. <laughs> but I would tell him that uh, he is an example for everybody on campus, and he's an example that Worf has pointed to time after time. <laughs> that we think emotes uh, the best of the university and the best of the partnership that Worf has with the university. You know, Mark is that. So all of staining is primarily... He's a teacher. He is a, a mentor for more advanced scientists. Uh, his research is excellent. Uh, he has contributed in service to the university and probably most importantly helped us to develop the vision for where we're going and how to get there. We take the uh, laying hens. He's a tremendously qualified basic scientist. He does very, very creative work. But while he's doing that work, he immediately sees the application of it. He understands what that work could do for some product, some new uh, piece of science that could be turned into a company. He immediately sees the end point at it, and he presents to the whole case from, from basic science to complete entrepreneurship and one thing. That's attractive to a very broad range of people. Very few people have that knack. And he's quite good at it. About every four hours. So Mark is also important because he has been one of the leaders of Discovery to Product, D2P, which is helping to generate entrepreneurship across campus and increase the number of startup companies coming out of the good ideas that happen with our faculty and staff and students. And the students are going to teach the class today. He sees the entrepreneurial endpoint of these activities and makes sure that they're included in the research. That's the difference between Mark and most other people. Well, it's hard to keep up with Mark. He has 20 patents. Uh, he uh, um, has started uh, three different businesses. He's working on one right now. Uh, and hopefully he'll uh, inspire others to go down the same path he's going. Times are changing and Mark uh, has had a long career, but he is still at the forefront in, in determining how do we get to where we need to go as the 20 first century progresses. How does he balance all of these things? We're not sure, but we're really glad that he does because all of those contributions are really important to UW.